Declan O'Sullivan and Rory O'Carroll Martin you were saying the two involved yep I think Declan O'Sullivan came over to the sideline to get instructions from uh, from Jack O'Connor Rory O'Carroll came with him now whatever happened after that I'm not so sure but they were certainly having words with one another so it's going to result in a, a card here and a quick flash of yellow shown to Rory O'Carroll double and two yellow cards Kerry one and Kerry are making a change this is what happened have a look at this again yeah. one rushing off the other just watch it here don't see anything much in that so far well that was the completion of that particular episode now Kieran O'Leary I saw coming off the field there and I think Paul Galvin has gone in and that's a very early time to be making that change, only 24 minutes of the match gone. Kieran O'Leary had hardly enough time to get into his strike before Kerry decides to bring on Galvin, who was trying to get the ball there from Barry Cahill. Now it's Brian Cullen, lobbed in there, touchdown brilliantly, and finish, oh! Should have been by Alan Brogan as the Brendan Keeley got in the way. They say he's a great shot stopper. That was a fabulous piece of goalkeeping as the two Brogans were involved. That will be worth looking at again in a moment. But Brendan Keeley has stopped a certain Dublin goal. This is a third bit of goalkeeping by Keeley once again. Against Cork, he did it with, um, I think it was Paul Kerrigan. He did it on a couple of occasions against me, but that there was the best of a lot of them. Great because pace in the match. Down as far as Declan O'Sullivan here. Three. Blue shirts alongside him, cuts it back to Donica Walsh, taking off, trying to get past Nolan, and eventually it's Mick Fitzsimons who comes out, the cool a youngster, fouled, free out. Point between them, Kerry still in front, low scoring All Ireland final, up as far as Alan Brogan, taken away here by James McCarthy, kicked in diagonally towards Connolly, takes it down, quick look at the post. Three men after him, make it two now at this stage. It's still Dermot Connolly. Oh, very tamely hit. Easy one for Keeley. Out as far as Mark O'Shea. And it's Kerry's turn to breathe a sigh of relief that time. Dublin should have had a couple of scores in the last two attacks. Ended up getting absolutely nothing. Still to Moss O'Shea. Now 33 years of age. Down as far as Cooper, the gold scorer. Foul there by Fitzsimons, his marker. Well, just going back to that save again, it must be said that Alan Brogan had time to compose himself and pick a spot, and that's what made the save all the more meritorious. That time, Donica Walsh had time to pick a spot. Into Donahue! Oh, wonderful stop! Kian O'Sullivan this time! Brilliant work by Kian O'Sullivan, the UCD student and the Kilmacud Crokes player. Match really hotting up. Michael Darrow McCauley, 65 metres from his own goal. Way back there is Alan Brogan. Neat pass in, fumbled there by Flynn. In came Galvin. Referee said, leading him with the boot. Free kick to Dublin. Dublin took it too quickly, and they'll have to take it again. Paul Flynn's down injured. Now I thought Galvin attacked that ball fair and square along with Paul Flynn. Maybe the boot made contact all right, but certainly went hard for it. He was perfectly entitled to go in for that. Watch that save in that case. I see what Kieran Donnie was complaining about. He probably felt that the ball was touching the ground. But just watch it. Alan Brogan is time here. But Keeley with his right hand gets a strong hand to it and deflects the ball away to safety. Great, great save. Oh, he's done really well this year, Brendan Keeley, producing several of those important saves. Back in the middle of the park, the uh, referee is going to award a free kick. And up comes Stephen Cluxton to try and kick a point his second time to hit a long range free for Dublin last one was a little bit nearer this is central as you can see that's the distance out what about 50 meters it hasn't been a most enjoyable game up to now I know there have only been whatever it is five scores in the game but it's been some exceptional football from both sides and both defenses doing very very well sheer intensity so far Cluxton kicking up into the air it's got accuracy it's got everything it's over the bar And the teams are level, it's Kerry 1-1, one, one, Dublin 4 points, teams level for the second time. What a reliable kicker from freeze like that, Stephen Cluxton has become. I think this is his 11th point at the Championship, which is an amazing statistic for a goalkeeper. 
into the middle of the park again it comes broken down that time by Michael Darrell McCauley picked up by Kerry by Donica Walsh across there by Gavin gives it away onto it quickly came Brian Cullen now McCauley into space it comes running across for Bernard Brogan feral distance from the goal Marco Shea out there what a kick what a point that's superb by Bernard Brogan top footballer last year doing well in this final and Dublin lead by five points to 1-1. One, one. Kerry with only two scores in the match so far. Yeah, that came as a badly directed pass from Paul Gallopin, well picked up, but notice the ball by McCauley out into the corner, an isolated uh, Brogan with Mark O'Shea in a one-to-one, -one, and Brogan's kick had all the accuracy in the fine score. The kick out for Kerry has all the accuracy as well. Brian Sheehan initially, Tomas O'Shea, and then finally from Galvin back to Mark O'Shea. 11 minutes since Kerry scored. Dublin now winning the major battles. Bastic in and it runs away unkindly from Bernard Brogan. The ball just wouldn't oblige. But the ball Pat wouldn't Gilroy ob must be pleased. He must be pleased. The ball wouldn't oblige. And I think a lot of the Kerry passing isn't obliging themselves at the moment. There are so many missed passes. They're being put under huge pressure by the Dublin middle uh, third players. It's a fascinating contest out around the middle at the moment. David Hickey there in the background as well, one of the stars of the past in the 70s. In the 2011 final, going up for that one was Dennis Bastic. And acrobatically getting himself back on his feet again. Free taken by Barry Cahill for that foul on Bastic. Taken in here by Alan Brogan. Brogan doing well against Killian Young. The target in there was Bernard Brogan, instead it's Mark O'Shea winning this one. Covering well, out as far as Brosnan, all the way down, intended for Darren O'Sullivan, comes bouncing back into the middle of the park once again. Dublin with a high energy level. They've got youth and fitness. They've got David Connolly. Galvin was after him, tripped him, free in. And another chance of a point here. That was a clumsy concession of a free that time by Galvin. Didn't get around the defending side as he should have done. And that's a silly free to concede in a very threatening area. Well, he got 20 touches when he came on in the uh, semi-final against Mayo for the second half. Ola has been a, a vital figure in Kerry teams over the years. 31 years of age now, seventh All-Ireland final appearance. Dermot Sullivan down there getting some attention. Yeah, he hasn't had enough at a game time this year. He may not be as sharp as he'd like to be. And maybe that was, you know, an example of the fact that he's just a little bit off the pace at the moment. Physio Kieran O'Reilly is in there, attending to the uh, stricken St. Vincent's player. Bernard Brogan's got two points so far. The fans for Dublin are happy. The Kerry fans must be a little bit tense. The lead has changed hands three times in this final so far. Mickey Whelan there alongside Pat Gilroy. Now Bernard Brogan is 25 metres from the target. Should suit him. His team a point ahead already. Four, three minutes to go to half time. He's got it. Third point for the 27 year old. Two of them coming from freeze. And Dublin stretch out to a two point lead. It's been a fair old while since Kerry scored. It has, and you'd be very concerned about the middle, the middle of the park. Neither Maher or Sheehan are getting on much ball at the moment. That has to be a cons uh, cause of great concern. Dublin are grouping well, winning the breaks. Paul Flynn, probably still a little bit worried by that hamstring that has been troubling him in the last few weeks. Out it comes to Brian Sheehan. Kerry now need to steady things, stabilise their efforts. Sheehan, Tomas O'Shea, now Mark O'Shea going out wide, out as far as Killian Young, fed inside once again, Tom O'Sullivan. Declan O'Sullivan now has come back to a much deeper row. Darren O'Sullivan lets it run away from two Kerry players collide, the yellow one is Donica Walsh, and the referee saw it as a foul and a free kick. I think it was Keno Sullivan, was it, that conceded that free. He's at yep. the moment, by the way, marking Darren O'Sullivan. That switch has been made by Pat Kilroy a couple of moments ago. And Cooper has still been marked by Michael Fitzsimons. And what it must be said, he's not getting much supply of the ball at the moment. Kerry haven't scored now since the 19th minute of this final. So here we are, two minutes to go to the break. 
and it's Brian Sheehan who will hit this free kick from just outside the 45 metre line. The mist has eased, it's become a very pleasant day. Whatever breeze there is is blowing across from left to right as he faces this one. It's across the field to win today. Sheehan with a lovely languid style of free kicking normally. Let's see how he does here. Connects well, but it's got to drop short. And it bounces back out again to Darren O'Sullivan, back out to the Gooch, back out to Galvin. And the Enfant Terrible puts it over. Narrows the gap, one between them. Paul Galvin's first point since coming on. Well, that free kick didn't quite have the distance that time, but it was Kerry who was sharp and alert to the possibilities, and Galvin direct and true with his kicking. A lovely example of that type of unselfish play. First of all, by Darren, Darren O'Sullivan passing it out to Cooper, who in turn transferred it to Galvin, and that'll do Galvin the world of good to put that one over the bar. Dublin goes short with their kick out to Fitzsimons. There'll be two additional minutes played at the end of the opening 35. Oh, that was left by Aidan O'Mahony and gleefully taken by Barry Cahill, which was a mistake because Ter Brennan's now up with the attack and they've got a free kick. Well, there was a situation where Aidan O'Mahony was leaving the ball out. Galvin's back protesting. Dublin got on about their business and it ends up with a free kick here. Galvin after Ter Brennan. Well, was there much in that? Oh, I thought that was a very, very soft free. Galvin, I thought, did the right thing that time he got on the goal side of his, of his attacker. I thought he got into the correct uh, situation to actually defend it. I thought that was a very harsh call against him. So for harsh, for soft, we say wrong call, referee. <laughs> Bernard Brogan taking it, and he's put a wide. 6-5 still in points. Dublin still leading. We're into time added on. I'm sure he'll have plenty to say to his charges. So the wide 6-4, Dublin leading for the all-important score, the one on the bottom, or the top uh, left-hand corner. Here's Brosnan, carry behind by a point, heading towards half-time, Declan O'Sullivan on towards Darren O'Sullivan. You still feel there's an awful lot of football left in the forwards if they get possession. Need to win midfield, however. Back towards Domica Walsh, well, they're going across the field. They've gone to Tomas Sochet, who's got 1-4 in finals in the past. Here's Anthony Marr getting away from Ger Brennan. Is there an end product? There's a free in. It's a fair distance out. It's an opportunity for Kerry to draw level just before the half-time break as James McCarthy came up and over Anthony Marr. Come up and over him. I thought, to be honest with you, Anthony Marr had run out of options that time. I thought he'd lost his way. The attack seemed to have died with him. And James McCarthy... I thought it would be a little bit unlucky once more to have actually conceded a, um, a free in. So it's going to be uh, Colm Cooper who will take this. Looking for a point to go with the goal he scored after 19 minutes. Kerry behind by a point. He's hit it truly. And he's put it wide, unfortunately, from a Kerry point of view. Didn't quite have the line. Yeah, I just wonder about the wind down there, was kicking that ball into a difficult enough wind. The wind, as we can see it from the flags, was blowing directly into him that time, but he seemed to force that kick and just drift it wide. So the two minutes of stoppage time has now been played, and the referee, having a look at his watch, I can tell you, as Stephen Cluxton sums up his options. It's half-time at the All-Ireland Football Final 2011. A game lit up by Colin Cooper's goal after 19 minutes. It's a 